It's a mighty big sky, the mountain man said. As he looked at the heavens overhead, there as he stood on the highest hill, he saw the valleys quite still. Then he scanned the plains below, saw the passing of the buffalo. Then his heart began to swell as he thought of the place called Colder's Hell. But he never dreamed that in time would be known as our national park called Yellowstone. He saw the prospectors as they came to dig for fortune, wealth, and fame. He saw them struggle, fight, and die right here beneath our great big sky. First there was Bannock, then Virginia City, then Last Chance Gulf, now our capital city. Next came Lincoln and Alder Gulf, New Chicago, Gold Creek, Garnet, and such. He saw the Red Men, he knew them all. And he watched them at their fall. He saw the troopers, tough and brazen, drive them to the reservation. Then he said, why should this be? Though red, they're human, just like me. He couldn't seem to grasp it all. Why treat them this way? God made us all. Then came the cowman, Walton Grant. He saw the trail herds as they passed. Next came the nester, west of Tall, to sink his roots in this great soil. Now here I am, a humble soul. I've never dug a tall for gold. But today I washed some in my pan, and I thought about that mountain man. Jim Bridger, yeah, that's his name. There's many monuments to his fame. And now he smiles as he looks down at our city and our town. And I know he's happy there on high. Looking down from God's big sky. So today I'll climb the highest hill where everything is quiet and still. And there I'll thank God for my home. Montana. <laughs>